We have uh, Peter Andre on the line. Peter, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Um, let's start with the news in the press today, which claims that both Katie Price and, and Alex Reid actually share more DNA with horses. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? You know, I'm not surprised at all. I didn't know anything about it. I'm not surprised. But all I want, as any parent would ever want, is just the right influence around my children. And as long as, you know, they're a good influence around my children, that's all I can ask for. That's that's it. To be honest, Peter, you seem quite relaxed about the whole situation. I mean, surely this must come as a bit of a revelation to you. It doesn't surprise me, and I'm, I'm not shocked. Well, Peter, what do you have to say to critics who claim that a horse is not fit to look after a child? To be honest with you, I wouldn't even get into that because, you know, I... I don't. I'm the kind of person that I like to watch what I say and how I react to things. So I don't know. The bottom line is, as long as my kids are taken care of, that's that's all I care about. And that I swear, on my life, that is all I care about is that they're okay. Okay then. Well, well, let's talk about the real reason you're here. You're moving to the adult sex industry. Uh, what would you say it's like to be in in porn? Yeah, it feels a bit naked, doesn't it? Well, I mean, yeah, that's a fairly obvious uh, obvious point there, Peter. Uh, we'll, we'll move swiftly on. I, I mean, what, what's it like being an amateur within the industry? This is the thing. I don't... You cannot... Right. When you throw yourself into this industry, okay, you can't start something and then all of a sudden go, well, it doesn't suit me today, so I think I'm not going to do it for a while. Oh, but right now it suits me, so let's do it again. You can't do that. You take everything that goes with it. Uh, Peter, do you see it possibly taking over your music career? Yeah, and and I think, you know, obviously, if I don't do my job properly, I'll have a short-lived career in this. But if I do it properly and I and I listen to people, then maybe I'll have a career in it. Uh, forgive me for the pun, but isn't this your first adult release? Um, yeah, it's it's out this week, the midweek. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Second day, um, it's already top ten. I'm thrilled about that. So it's called Mysterious Girls Go Insania Over Cock. Am I right in believing it's an orgy set inside a mental hospital? Yes. Ooh, quite, uh, quite defensive there, Peter. Ooh, um, could you do an impression of a mental patient for us? Uh, what can I make, honestly? Go on, Peter, please. Well, I, I think the problems in Jerusalem... Mm, yeah, not so much mental, more 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 racist, really. Um, maybe you shouldn't maybe you shouldn't have done that. Um, so Valentine's Day is coming up. Have you got a, a date at all? Yeah, she's two and a half years old. I'm sorry. Uh, what can mate? Honestly. Oh, good uh, good gag there, Peter. Very very funny, mate. Um, so I sort of I sort of asked you again. Uh, have you got a date lined up for Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah, she's two and a half years old. H- hold hold on a minute. You're the you're the housewife's favourite. I mean, how are your fans going to react to this? I have no idea. Well, let's be honest, they're not going to be too happy, are they? You know when they say the British public are fickle? I don't know if that's true. And I'll tell you why. Because through thick and thin, I've seen how they stick by you. It's unbelievable. I mean, if you if you do something really bad... So, like, Insania, for instance? Yes. It just seems to me, though, Peter, as if you're almost putting yourself in the firing line just for a bit of publicity. I'm not stupid. Well, um, mm, mm, debatable there. Um, well, I think we'd better leave it there, to be honest, Peter, before you incriminate yourself further. Um, one last question. What do you have to say to critics who claim that you always end interviews rather abruptly? Thanks, guys. Love you.